Before you start the Moodle integration settings, we are assuming that you have downloaded the two plugins from within OpenSIS. Log into your Moodle instance as a site administrator. Click on Plugins, and then Install Plugins. Choose a file to upload and the File Upload box will open up. Choose the downloaded file. We will start with the user key authentication file. Choose that and click Install Plugin from zip file. Once it shows the validation is successful then you know you can install and enable it. Follow the on-screen instructions and continue with the installation. After it is installed, you have to add the mapping field. We use email, so choose the email option from the drop-down menu. You also have to put a value on the user key lifetime. We use 120 seconds as a default. Put that value. Click Save Changes. Repeat the same process to install the OpenSIS Web Services plugin. After installing the two plugins we have to enable them. Under Site Administration, scroll down to the Authentication section. Click on the Manage Authentication link. Here, you will see a list of available authentication plugins. Select the User Key Authentication and click on the eye icon under the Enable column. This is required for SSO from OpenSIS to Moodle. Follow the same procedure and enable the Web Services Authentication. It is required for the bidirectional integration to work. This plugin synchronizes users, courses, course sections and scheduling data to Moodle and fetches grades from assignments, lessons, and quizzes to OpenSIS from Moodle. Go to Server, Web Services and click on External Services. Chances are you don't have any external services like it is shown in this demonstration. Click Add to add external services. Give it a name. You can skip the short name. Check the Enabled box, Can Download File box, and Can Upload File box. Leave the Authorized Users Only box unchecked. Click Add Services. After the service is added, you will see a link to add functions. Click on that to add 31 functions that are listed on the Settings document. You can add the functions one by one or add them in bulk by selecting multiple functions at one time. After adding all the functions, just double check to make sure you got them all. There are 31 of them. There are some more settings to be checked. Click on General and Advanced Features. Check the Enable Web Services checkbox and make sure it is checked, which means it is turned on. If it is off, you have to turn it on by checking it. You created external services and now you have to authorize it. To do so, go to Server and External Services. Scroll to Built-in Services. You will see the User Key Authentication Web Services there. Click on the Authorized Users link under the Users column. Select the Administrator from the right column and click Add to add the user. You should see the user in the left column. Add more users if necessary. Remember, these are just the initial admin users. Once the integration is completed, the students and teachers will automatically get SSO access. Once again, go to Server, Web Services and click on Manage Protocols. Check to make sure the REST protocol is enabled. If the eye icon does not have a cross-through, it is enabled. If it's disabled, click on it to enable it. Finally, you have to create the tokens. Go to Server, Web Services, and Manage Tokens. Click Create Tokens. Under User, select the admin user you have authorized in the previous step. For the service, select the User Key Authentication Service. Ignore the IP Restrictions field. Click Save Changes. Similarly, create another token by selecting the external service called OpenSIS that we created before. This is the one that will tie the two applications together. Once you have created both the tokens, copy them and put them inside the OpenSIS application. Go to OpenSIS, select LMS from the main menu, and then LMS settings. 
Provide your Moodle URL, copy and paste the OpenSIS token and the User Key Authentication Web Services token. Click Connect to test the connection. If all the steps were done correctly you should see the connected status with the Moodle version number. Turn the Enable Synchronization switch on. This concludes our OpenSIS Moodle integration setup.